Welcome to getting started with the IoT Gateway Advanced Template Configuration. In this video, we will be giving an overview of the IoT Gateway templates, reviewing the newly added variables, and then finally, giving a demo of the new variables and how to apply them. We will assume that the user is familiar with basic configuration knowledge of Kepware and the IoT Gateway. Additionally, we will assume that the user has a basic understanding of MQTT brokers. The standard template pushes industrial data from the IoT Gateway in a JSON format as shown on the top right of the screen. The standard template is comprised of five components. The timestamp of when the data was published to the endpoint, the ID, value, and quality of the tag, and finally, the time the tag was sampled from the IoT Gateway agent. The advanced template gives users much more control over the payload format. Users have the option to change the format to XML, CSV, or a wide JSON format. Additionally, there are other variables that can be added to the payload for richer contextualization. As of version 6.11, the following variables have been added to the IoT Gateway template. You can find more details about these variables in the IoT Gateway help file. We will now walk through how to apply these variables to the IoT Gateway. Let's get started. In this demo, the project configuration contains a simulator driver with a handful of simulated tags, the IoT Gateway configured to send MQTT data to an instance of Azure's IoT Hub, and a local HTTP server. First, we will show the payload using the standard template. Here we can see the ID, value, quality, and timestamps published from the IoT Gateway. Now we will change the message format to the advanced template and open the editor. As you can see here, we have already configured a new template using the new variables. Note, this format is simply for demonstration purposes only. This format would not be of practical use in an actual application. Once we click Apply, we need to refresh our IoT Gateway agent to accept the template change from Standard to Advanced. We can now see the additional variables in the payload, including the additional time variables. We will now be showcasing the line feed variable and how it is used to manipulate the payload. In a typical template, a new line added in the property editor is represented in ASCII as carriage return line feed or backslash r backslash n. The line feed variable will insert a single line feed without the carriage return or quite simply backslash n. This is especially useful when the message recipient is expecting a single line feed when processing data. We can see the payload on the left with a format that is using a carriage return and a line feed to delineate records in the payload. Now if we go in and add the new line feed variable, we'll be able to see the difference in the payload. Congratulations on setting up the advanced template for the IoT Gateway. 